This is Bill Hamilton at the University of Florida EDRM eDiscovery Conference at the Levin College of Law on 2016. I'm very happy to be here with you, and as my guest right now, I have United States Magistrate Judge Anthony Porcelli. Thank How you, are you, Judge? I'm doing well. Appreciate your time here. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to have a panel with the judge in a little bit coming up, and you're going to be talking about uh, what you're seeing in attorneys in front of you and what you're seeing in connection with the new rules that just went into effect on December 1st. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. This is actually, I like coming to these conferences because, as I always say, I learn a lot more than I bring to the table. And importantly, I want to hear from the lawyers themselves. The rules have changed depending on what your view may be, somewhat drastically or significantly, or others may consider not so much. You know, there's all kinds of uh, changes that are designed primarily for cost efficiency, uh, efficiency of resources, but primarily uh, designed for the court getting more involved and playing an active role in the early on stages of discovery. This is all as a result of uh, electronic discovery. And I've seen already initially, since the rules have been put in place, a difference in the lawyers that are near, now appearing in front of me. That is, in uh, a lot of the discovery disputes, the lawyers are much more in tune to what their requirements are. Uh, they are being uh, cautious with their certifications as to what was done in good faith prior to coming in. So I've already seen some initial changes for the better. And so that's obviously, from a judge's perspective, something very good to see. Uh, though I do find it interesting, the catchphrase certainly is proportionality. Right. And uh, so I've been now almost eight years on the bench. Probably in the first seven years, I may have heard it a handful of times. Now it's cited by everybody that comes in front of me, even though they may not even be sure what they're talking about, but they're citing proportionality. Well, that, that puts a lot of pressure on you, I would imagine, as a judge, because we have the six factors of proportionality, but the rules don't give us the metrics behind those. So it seems to me what you have to do is somehow figure out how all those factors balance together and then put together the, uh, a decision. Uh, what do you expect attorneys to tell you about those different factors? Well, and th these are going to be some of the areas where I think there's going to be some time, both with the litigants and the judges, to figure those things out. Primarily, there are some, not just the metrics, but also the burden of proof as to what exactly right. is being alleged. Uh, so these are some of the things that are eventually going to have to be a case-by-case -case basis, and that's really what the rules even prescribe in the committee notes, that the court should use its best judgment looking at a case-by-case -case basis. However, I was saying that, as a judge, a lot of those metrics, uh, I have some reservations about that. There are those metrics such as the value of the case. As I say more often than not, when I ask the litigants to give me their views of the values of the case, <laughs> there's a wide gap between the plaintiff and the defense as to what they see the value of the case. So now we're being asked as the judge to make that assessment. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, those are difficult assessments because it's not static. Particularly when you're dealing with discovery, you're at their early on stages, it's hard to predict at times what the true value of the case. So each metric has to be a balance of where you're at in the case at the time, what is the importance of that particular metric into the ultimate decision. The one thing that should never be lost by the change of the rules, which is simply this, the first primary focus is relevancy. And the court will always start with that proposition, what is really relevant, and then the proportionality is balanced off the relevancy. And so that's the main consideration, and the factors will be balanced with that. It, you mentioned that what the rule, new rules emphasize more than ever is the early involvement of the court. Do you tend to favor having actual conferences with counsel early, or do you wait for issues to surface with the Rule 26F report or, and, and, or some other vehicle? Well, and I think this, again, is a case-by-case -case basis because although the rule is designed uh, primarily to be uniform, to bring some uniformity throughout the country. The reality of it is every court, and I sit in the Middle District of Florida, I will tell you each of our divisions are different. Each of the judges within a division are different in how they act. But primarily the way I see it should play out as a case-by-case -case basis because each case is different. There are certainly going to be cases where active and early uh, court involvement will have substantial benefit in saving the resources of the parties in the court to be involved. Then there are those cases that simply the litigants don't want the judges involved. Some of them can resolve those matters themselves uh, and more often than not will go away without any judicial uh, involvement. You know, I would say a good percentage of cases that I'm assigned to, more often than not, I have no involvement with the cases. 
There's a lot of cases that take a lot of judicial active, uh, active involvement. So you have to make that determination, but it's the parties at that Rule 16 that they need to ask, they need to be the one to make that assessment and ask the court for that involvement. Okay, uh, speaking of Rule 16, one of the newer rule changes that I'm a big fan of that hasn't gotten a lot of attention is the changes to Rule 26 and 34 that we can now propound discovery requests before the, uh, the Rule 26F conference that then can be incorporated in the report that goes into Rule 16. So, you know, before what we do, we'd have meetings and uh, the other side perhaps wouldn't be as forthcoming about various issues in terms of searching and locating data because I hadn't propounded a request yet or it wasn't permitted. Now we can permit it. Uh, is that having an impact at all you're seeing? I can't tell you I've seen that uh, to date yet, but I agree with you. I am in favor of that role. I think it should be used uh, by the lawyers because what it was designed for, to aid in the quick process to get through the discovery, to address those questions early on so the case does not get bogged down. All right. This is Bill Hamilton and Judge Anthony Porcelli from the Middle District of Florida at the University of Florida e-discovery conference.